Good morning, folks. As you watch Song Teen's landfall and some aftermath photos, I gotta quickly say there are 900 messages waiting for me. It's officially gotten out of control. I have no hope of answering them all. Prayers go out to these folks here in Vietnam and in southern China. It's safe to say we've had an aftershock or two. They got as big as 6.3 yesterday, and also this morning we've had a 4.2 hit central California. Quickly coming back to the Hawaiian buoy, still showing 70 meters of sea height swings. Unless the sea floor got a pogo stick, this must be an error. They did register a tsunami yesterday, but it was just over one foot. Game time on the East Coast. Weather Channel has given these surge warnings for Hurricane Sandy. Well developed. Big already shearing precipitation well ahead of its path. Stock markets closed in preparation. Let's hope this is a dud. You can see yet another wave of cool air creeping down over the UK and into Central Europe. And actually, it settles there to make it colder than it is in the Northwest. The Antarctic low is off New Zealand. You should already be feeling warmer as the Southwest of Australia sees the beginning of the next chilled wave. Here's a look at the rain and where it's headed. US pressure map, sandy on the right, but another low top left. Both lows engender cyclonic wind patterns. For the central U.S., this means some warmer southern air coming in. While for the storm zone, well, you have warnings. The solar wind indicates that the corona hole of concern the past three days has missed Earth. Good news there. Very calm at the moment, along with the X-ray flux, haven't had any major flares in days. Not that the sun hasn't returned to its trickery. The moment this region got out of Earth's view, she unleashed a mid-sized but significant coronal mass ejection. It will miss Earth and hit Venus, then Jupiter and Comet Isa. NOAA has removed all dangerous classifications from the active regions, and I agree. This is the source of that X-flare days ago, but it has decayed into a spot that is barely even beta anymore. On the southeastern limb, a bipolar sunspot group is cresting and coming into view. We'll have to have more on that. Lots of plasma filaments facing Earth. Their eruption is the primary space weather concern until the arrival of yesterday's blast, expected later this week. Another dark corona hole creeping in from the left. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.